Baduzi Restaurant is in Wynyard Quarter, just a short walk from the viaduct, except when it's not. Now patrons have to take the long way round, and owner Michael Durth says it's been brutal for his business. Our business is down substantially. I mean, I can show you the profit loss of when the bridge is open and when the bridge is closed. And when it's closed, it's just been um, horrible. It's been horrible. We're down a lot. Michael Durth says the bridge first closed in November and was fixed, but then closed again because another part broke down. So it's one of our main arteries, a lifeline to this neighborhood, this vibrant neighborhood. You know, we have a lot of bars and restaurants here, so it's brutal. They've, I've had people that just haven't shown for their reservation. We've had people that called and complained. They've been in the rain, they can't cross, and they just said, look, I'm not coming anymore, it's too hard. So we've lost a lot of reservations and a lot of humans because of it. I have to walk all the way around and I either have to sort of come a little bit earlier or um, hop on one of the scooters and that's uh, usually about eight or nine dollars each way so it's kind of adds up when you come in every day. Eke Panuku says they've been working hard to resolve technical issues with the bridge. More will be known tomorrow when Eke Panuku is due to get an engineering report on the bridge's future.